Well, hello everybody on YouTube. Tonight's video is called The Difference Between Medellin, Colombia and Bogota, Colombia. Now, the reason I decided to make this video was for the simple fact that I hear a lot of people talking about that Medellin is overrated and this and this and this and that. So, we're going to touch the subject of the differences between Medellin, Colombia versus Bogota, Colombia. Now, we're going to start with Bogota first. Now, Bogota, Colombia is one of the largest cities in Colombia. Okay, it's the capital of Colombia. Now, with that being said, Bogota, you have to be on your P's and Q's. There's always something jumping off. There's always robberies. There's always people being drugged. And um, it's just a city that you have to be really, really sharp. And you have to really watch your surroundings for the simple fact that, you know what I mean, a lot of things pop off, okay? Now, the places to visit there, you have La Catedral, you have El Palacio de Justicia, you have to club La 85, there's many, many different places to club and many, many places to sing. And last but not least, if you're interested in watching the most beautiful view of Bogotá, you have El Cerro de Monserrate. You can either walk up there or you could take the little trolley that will take you straight up there to El Cerro de Monserrate. But you have to be really sharp, you know what I mean? You can go out there for a couple of days, scope out the scenery. If you feel nice and homey, then you know what I mean? You try maybe a week or two weeks or whatever time you want. But you know what? Just go there for a couple of days and, and get the sense of the place, you feel me? I'm telling you this for the simple fact that I have a lot of friends out there. And they tell me the situation for what it is. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, Bogota is nice, too. You know what I mean? The women there are beautiful, too. And, um, you know what I mean? There's there's things to do there. But it's a very, very unsecure place to be. Because there's always something jumping off. You know what I mean? It's like those type of places where you go, you do your thing, and you be there for a couple of days. And if you feel, you know what I mean? If you take a like into the place, then you stay a little longer. Okay? But um, we're going to touch Medellin subject now. Medellin, Colombia is the city of eternal spring. Okay. The difference weather between Bogota and Medellin is that basically in Bogota, it's always nice and cold. It's always, you know what I mean, windy and it's always, you know what I mean, cloudy. And in Medellin, it's like that, you know what I mean. One day it could be sunny, the next day it could be, you know what I mean, raining and it's like that. But as far as the women go... The women in Medellin, Colombia are absolutely gorgeous, okay? They have beautiful long, long hair, beautiful eyes, beautiful bodies. And um, I'm not going to sit here and be like, that's the only part of Colombia where there's beautiful women. No, you have women in different parts of Colombia that are absolutely gorgeous. So Medellin has to offer lots of things. I mean, you have lots of things to do in Medellin. The food, the different places to party, the women there are absolutely gorgeous. There's lots of museums, and you know what I mean? They have a lot of tours, you know what I mean? You go paragliding, and um, I mean, honestly, the show, I think that a lot of people that are saying that basically Medellin, Colombia is overrated. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. You have to mandatory learn a little bit of Spanish before going to these type of places for the simple fact that these women, if they don't know how to speak English, then you're basically, you're screwed. You know what I mean? For the simple fact that they want to engage in casual conversation and you just can't expect women to just walk up to you. No, you have to engage them in casual conversation, invite them somewhere to eat, get to know them, get to know their families. And slowly but surely, you'll start building your friendships there. And um, as time passes by, those relationships will strengthen and strengthen and strengthen to the point where, you know what I mean, you'll look at these people as your own family. Now, a lot of people, you know what I mean, that go there, you know what I mean, they don't really like take a liking to the place for the simple fact that nine times out of ten, they don't speak the language properly. Or they're just people that, you know what I mean, want things easy and it's not the case, you know what I mean. So for those people that think that Medellin, Colombia is overrated, I'm sorry to tell you this, but um, I have to bang on your door for this one, you know what I mean. I mean Medellin, Colombia is something else. It's the largest, si the largest second city in Colombia and um, it's won several awards, okay, globally wide, okay, and um, as being one of the most 
favorite destinations as far as Latin America goes. And, you know what I mean, that to me is priceless. And that to me says a lot. Okay. So if you guys are looking to party, enjoy the weather, enjoy the culture, plus the people of Medellin are very family oriented. You know what I mean? And um, they believe and, and, and their family and their family and their family. And that to me is priceless. So if you guys are really interested in getting to know real females, there's lots of places where you can meet them. You know, you don't have to necessarily go to a brothel, you know what I mean, or, or be with prostitutes. No, you can go to a local mall. There's plenty of malls there. You've got La Plaza Mayor that, you know what I mean, is in Medellin. You have La Plaza del Sol that's in El Poblado. You have La Florida, you know what I mean, that's in Medellin. You also have... Plaza Mallorca, that's right in the entrance of Medellin, and there's just so much to do, you know what I mean, there's so many interesting people to meet, and yeah, you get a lot of guys that they tend to hop on Tinder and meet females or whatever, that's cool, but I mean, I would rather go out and interact with them in person, because some of those characters that you do meet in these type of sites, as far as Tinder goes, I mean, don't get me wrong, you do run into some interesting females there, but nine times out of ten, they're either working girls or, you know what I mean, they're just females out looking for money. So, I mean, I just want you guys knowing that, you know what I mean, I'm making this video not to, you know what I mean, bring down Bogota. I mean, I have nothing against Bogota. But I'm just giving you my views on what I have heard from friends that live in Bogota, Colombia. And from what I see on the news on an everyday basis. Okay? Because I watch the Noticias de Caracol every day. And every day there's something jumping off in Bogota. Okay, I know that things happen all over the world, but just in Bogota itself, things are happening constantly. They hop on buses, they come out with guns, and they rob tourists of their phones, of all their belongings. And I would strongly recommend that if you guys do ever, you know what I mean, get robbed at gunpoint, just give up what you have, you know what I mean? Life is worth more than that iPhone or whatever you may have in your pockets, you know what I mean? Because trust me, when they are out to get you, as far as robbing you, they're going to rob you. So if you put resistance, nine times, nine times out of ten, you will get shot. And nine times out of ten, you will die. You know what I mean? For the simple fact that, you know what I mean, the hospitals out there, you know what I mean, they're, they're long distance. And, um, you know what I mean, you just want to be, have your, be on your P's and Q's and enjoy yourself. You're going out there to enjoy the culture, to enjoy the city. And, um, you know what I mean, you're not looking for problems, so... I hope that, you know what I mean, you guys take a liking into everything I just said. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs like. Please make sure to subscribe to my page. And stay tuned for more content. Good night. Bye-bye.